Okay, today I'm trying to figure out how to cut out the centerboard trunk for the Haven 12 and a half. As you can tell, these plans are quite confusing, but it's only because some of these things are laid over others. Where you see down here where it says bottom of bed log, top of bed log, this is this is a piece that fits on the sides of the bottom of the centerboard trunk. And it's curved on the bottom because it has to fit with the way the keel is. I'm afraid I'm so close to this, it's not going to be easy to see this. What I'm running into is that I fully expected, I'm trying to cut out the plywood sides for the centerboard trunk, but I fully expected things like this over here to be right angles and to be square. And what I'm finding out is that the length over here, well, the first thing that I did is I had to figure out how deep to let the side of the centerboard trunk go into because it, it fits down in a bevel and a rabbit down in this bed log on both sides. Um, so it calls for it to be three quarters of an inch wide and so I went ahead and made it three quarters of an inch deep as well because the plan it shows centerboard trunk and the outline here coming all the way over up along this post that fits here up top of the centerboard trunk down around this curve but it never shows you the bottom of the of the side so I talked with some guys that are building these and they all agreed that three quarters of an inch down into the bed log would be good. So I measured from here the top of the bed log down three quarters of an inch. I know the top of the bed log here is a straight edge all the way across. That's the only thing that's straight on the whole dang thing. So you can see my line here. I'm three quarters of an inch down from the top of here all the way through the whole length of the bed log. What I'm running into though is that on this end going up this post this is 11 and 7 eighths if you come more toward the middle here that one is 11 and 3 eighths that's a half inch off and then before the post goes up there that one's 11 inches even in the highest part of this, the first edge there is 17 and 3 quarters and just maybe 8 inches, 6 inches over it's off another quarter inch, it's 17 and a half. This thing is anything but straight and it's unnerving. I do not like things that are not congruent and parallel and even. I've already got my pieces cut out for the posts that go inside the two sides of the center board. So I took some carbon paper and I marked it onto my marine plywood that's laying underneath here. I used carbon paper and just traced out the lines on the outside of those posts. And then uh, just stayed in line with what it says to do. The center board itself that fits in here is represented by the dotted lines. See there, outline a center board. So you can see that as it goes up there, it fits in there. So I'm just going to have to make sure and cut my center board out to be the exact shape that's on the paper. Some people have told me, well, sometimes your paper gets wet or cold or warps or shrinks or something. But I even measured the paper and from on the plan from one edge to the other is 30 inches. And it's exactly 30 inches up at the top. So... I'm having a hard time imagining the paper morphed and warped that much to throw this thing off that bad. I think it just is supposed to be uneven. I'm going to cut it out that way. I hope I'm not buying more plywood later. <laughs> I surely could be. All right. More later.